I'm here at MedTech Europe, one of Europe's largest medical technology trade shows. It's being held in Stuttgart slightly <laughs> earlier than last year, so we've made it through the Swabian snow to get here. There's an area dedicated entirely to medical plastics and a new layout too. So uh, Zhang, um, you've got a new uh, uh, biodegradable hybrid polymer material which can be used for load-bearing orthopedic applications, is this right? Uh, that's right. Uh, first I'll introduce myself. Yeah. Uh, I'm Dr. Zhang Zhang, uh, as a head of medical materials and device in Scrap. Okay. And also uh, as a Royal Society Industry Fellow at the University of Cambridge. The University of Cambridge, right. That's right. Okay. At the moment we develop a range of biomedical materials one of them, you're right, is for uh, implant application for eating hybrid biodegradable polymer composites. Hybrid biodegradable polymer composites. That sounds right. interesting. Now, the reason for that is uh, at the moment for all the applications for implants, um, that's why you need feature people want to know is what kind of material you want to develop. At the moment, the coating is a very good fashion. Every implant has good materials to make the bar compatible. What missed is mechanical property. Have okay. I got materials all the implant have exactly the same mechanical property of the bone. So how do you achieve that mechanical property without a coating? Oh no. Basically we try we use the two materials for example a polymer is more like it's uh, uh, soft materials on the other hand very hard materials and uh, hydroxy appetite. Hydroxy appetite. Okay. Combine these two together, it will make hybrid materials. Okay. If you look into our bone material, there are mainly two materials. One is hydroxy appetite, rigid phase. The other side is collagen. The natural bone material is made that's from the collagen. Itself is hybrid material. It's a hybrid. Yeah. Uh, that's right. But so far, I realized in the future, hybrid material we gradually replaced the classic impact materials. You know, you ask me why? Because in the past, we're looking for something pure, pure metal, or the rejected, pure polymer. Oh, what? Roughly correct. But still, body has a large level. Ceramics are compatible, but have some brittle nature, cost problems. So these, these materials, can they be molded? It can be molded into different shape because it's a combination of the polymer and rigid phase of hydroxyptide or the other kind of, let's say, inorganic materials. So it potentially can make a material that can be processed like a polymer composite. Wow. Well, there'll be a lot of interest in that, I would imagine. I think so. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, thank you for your time, Thank Jack. you. Okay, cheers. Yeah. So you've got some news, yes, sir. Yes, we have. We are very excited. Uh, Friday the last week, we we were had a board meeting. It was a milestone for us. We made a decision to expand our facility. We're more than doubling our capacity. Uh, our medical business, which we are dedicated to, has grown very healthy. This year, we have seen about 30% growth. Last year, we had about. 30, 50% growth on certain products. So just tell me a little bit about, this is Melitech, your yeah. um, polyolefin compounder, TPOs. Correct, TPOs. we specialize, we make polyolefin compounds. Some is in color compounds, additive compounds. Other parts of our business is TP, TPOs, very often used as an alternative to flexible PVC. That's a market we've been in for quite a few years. Uh, about some of our oldest customers are in the market with PVC free products for about 10 years using our resin, wow. uh, mainly in the Scandinavian market, but also California, Taiwan, Japan, Asia. So you must be experiencing a lot of interest in people who are looking to replace PVC as concerns about plasticizers. Very much so. I mean, of course, the plasticizer debate is, of course, asking some questions <laughs> to customers should they replace the plasticizer or should they replace the plasticizer and the PVC? Obviously, our product is catering to the latter where people have the benefits of a healthier product but also of course a product that's better for environment better for disposable uh, incineration etc recycling and so forth so yes both our product lines are doing very well uh, and this is the reason why we have just decided to go on and take on this expansion hi welcome uh, I'd like to introduce you to uh, uh, connect to clean rooms do you want to come in and have a look Sam yeah. Okay. 
Right, so here we are inside the, uh, the modular clean room. Uh, the pepper filtration that you can hear uh, is currently working at the moment. So it's drawing air from outside through a pre-filter, down through the HEPA filter and out and around through the bottoms of the pit. So Matt, uh, tell us a little bit about some of the uh, unregulated um, applications of your modular clean rooms that you've seen. Well, um, we've, uh, there's been a, a big increase in the uh, sort of higher end car markets where you know, the, the real top top end cars are, are now looking for uh, higher standards on in, uh, sort of assemblies of uh, lights, the light cluster assemblies, whether some of them are even going down as far as sort of class five, class six environments for uh, you know the, the assembly process because they don't want any particles in there. Um, dashboard assemblies, just the simple assembly of sealing the, uh, the clocks off to make sure there's no particles in there, you know, things like that. Uh, How was the first day for you then? A fantastic first day, yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of good, good, good clients there. Uh, everything's been moved into the one hall for medical plastics, so it was, uh, it was perfect, of course. Yeah. So yeah, really productive day. Everyone likes the magazine? Loads of really, really good feedback. He's absolutely spot on, and uh, yeah, no, it's good to touch base with him. Carl's? Yeah, cracking day, Sam. Uh, loads of interest in, uh, in Mediplast, which is good news. Met up with loads of uh, ex-colleagues as well, which is always nice to bump into these guys at the show. So, it's been a wonderful first day. Can't wait for tomorrow as well, mate. And Mediplast is a UK plastics trade show, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Just focus solely on manufacturing plastic parts for the medical industry, and it's it's going down very well after its uh, launch last year, and obviously looking at hoping on build, sorry, hoping on building on the success of last year's show. And when is that being held? So, so, 25th, 26th September at the uh, Birmingham NEC. Great, right. look forward to it. times ahead. Excellent.